Hope all of you are keeping fine. I am Shirley George, taking biology. If you make a list of food items that is eaten in different parts of India, we can see that our meals could consist of chapati and dal curry or a vegetable preparation. And also we can see appam and fish curry, rice and sambar, like that, we can see a variety of food items. If I ask you about your breakfast, then also we can see that you will say different answers. Some of you, if you might have eaten appam and fish curry or chicken curry or idli and sambar, your answers may be different. So in this chapter, we are going to think why we are eating such a variety of food in our diet. So you are going to study chapter 2 that is components of food part 1. So in this chapter you will learn about the different types of nutrients and also what is balanced diet. In the first part we will learn what are nutrients. In the first chapter you have seen that what are ingredients. Ingredients are materials used to prepare a dish. So for making an egg curry, you are, you are taking some ingredients like onion, egg, also chili, oil, salt and water. So why we are using these ingredients? These ingredients make the food tasty and also these ingredients contain some materials or some substances which are needed for our body. These substances are called nutrients. So what are nutrients? Nutrients are the components of food that are needed by our body. Now we can see what are the major nutrients in our food. Carbohydrates, fats, proteins, vitamins and minerals. These are the five major nutrients that is present in our food. Now we can think, what do these nutrients do for our body? We can take these nutrients one by one. First one that is carbohydrate. Carbohydrate is also called energy giving foods, which because they give energy to our body. You know, you need a lot of energy for doing your various life activities. As children, you want to study, you want to play, and you want to walk, run. So you have to do a lot of works. For doing all these activities, we need energy. So you have to take this energy giving foods through our diet. These carbohydrates are present in food in the form of sugars and starch. So we can see there are different types of carbohydrates. So this carbohydrate is present in honey in the form of fructose. In milk it is present in the form of lactose. In table sugar it is in the form of sucrose. We can see there are different types of carbohydrates. We get these carbohydrates from plants. Now we can see the sources of carbohydrates. So Mainly we get these carbohydrates from cereals. All of you know what are cereals. So rice, wheat, vajra, maize, all these are different kinds of cereals. So we know that you are taking uh, rice every day for your lunch. Uh, you are taking this rice because it is a carbohydrate rich food. And like that some vegetables like potato. In sweet potato, sugar cane also contains a lot of carbohydrate in them. Then fruits like mango, melon, papaya, etc. are good source of carbohydrate. So, as children, you need a lot of carbohydrate and you have to take this kind of food in your diet. Next, this is a fat. Fat is also an energy giving food. When we compare these fats and carbohydrates, fats give much more energy than the same amount of carbohydrate. But taking too much fatty food is not good for the health. Now let's see what are the sources of these fats. We get fats from plants as well as animals. First we can take the plant sources. 
So this plant, uh, this fat is present in different kinds of vegetable oils like coconut oil, sunflower oil, soybean oil, mustard oil, teal oil, etc. And also we get this fat from nuts, groundnuts, then uh, badam, peanuts, etc. We also get this fat from animals. Animal sources are meat, fish, egg, butter, milk, ghee, etc. So, in order to get fat, we have to take this kind of foods. Now we can move on to the next nutrient that is protein. Proteins are also called bodybuilding food. As growing children, you need a lot of protein in your diet because it helps in the growth of your body and also it repairs the damaged cells of the body. So you have to take a lot of foods which are rich in proteins. Let us see the sources of proteins. So we get proteins from plants and animals. What are the plant sources of proteins? Peas, gram, mook, dal, beans, soya bean. So they are called pulses. So all these pulses are rich sources of protein. And also we get protein from animal sources like meat, fish, egg, milk, paneer, etc. So in order to get and help in the growth of it, get protein and help in the growth of your body, you have to take a lot of protein rich foods. Let's recollect what are nutrients. Name the five major nutrients. Then write short note on carbohydrates, fats, proteins. So watch the video and you will get the answer from the video. Now we can move on to the next two nutrients that is vitamins and minerals. Vitamins and minerals needed for our body in very small amount but their presence in the food is very important. First we can take the vitamins. There are six kinds of vitamins are there. They are named as vitamin A, vitamin B, vitamin C, vitamin D, vitamin E and vitamin K. So these vitamins are also called protective foods because they protect our body from diseases. Vitamins also keeps our eyes, teeth and gums and bones healthy. We can take this vitamin one by one. Vitamin A. Vitamin A is needed for the health of the eyes and skin. It keeps our skin and eyes healthy. So let us see what are the sources of this vitamin A. Fruits like papaya and mango and vegetables like carrot and milk and fish liver oil are rich sources of vitamin A. Next we can take vitamin B. Vitamin B is actually a group of vitamins. Vitamins like B1, vitamin B1, B12, B6, B3 etc. So it is also called the vitamin B complex. Vitamin B complex is very important for our body. It prevents infection and it boosts up our energy levels, muscle tone, brain function, etc. Now we can move on to vitamin C. Vitamin C is helps our body to fight against diseases. So in this COVID days, we are continuously hearing that we have to take food items that is rich in vitamin C because it boosts up our immunity and thus we can prevent this the, prevent the attack of this coronavirus what are the sources of vitamin c so it is present in tomato orange lemon amla etc now let's move on to vitamin d vitamin d helps the body to use calcium for bones and teeth what are the sources of this vitamin d we get vitamin D from milk, butter, egg, fish, liver, etc. And our body also prepares vitamin D in the presence of sunlight. So, insufficient exposure to sunlight will cause 
the deficiency of vitamin D in our body. Now we can move on to the other two vitamins that is that is vitamin E and vitamin K. Vitamin E is needed for the healthy skin. The sources of vitamin E are sunflower oil, olive oil, coconut oil, broccoli, kale, spinach, avocado, almonds and peanuts. So we get this vitamin E from these food items. Vitamin E is has antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties. So it is used in many skincare products. Then vitamin K. What is the use of vitamin K in our body? It helps in the clotting of blood. So these are the food items that is rich in this vitamin K. So we get it mainly from these leafy vegetables, green grapes, green apples, avocado and all these green leafy vegetables are rich in this vitamin K. Let's recollect. Name the different vitamins. Write the importance of vitamins in our body. Write short note on different vitamins. Now we can move on to minerals. These minerals are also needed in very small quantity like these vitamins. They are also needed for the maintenance and proper growth of the body. So what are the main minerals that our body needs? Iodine, phosphorus, iron, and calcium. Let's take it, take it one by one. First one, iodine. So what are the sources of this iodine? We get iodine from iodized salt, spinach, ginger, and sea fishes. Now we can move on to phosphorus. What are the sources of this phosphorus? Banana, milk, and some cereals like rice and wheat are rich sources of phosphorus. Then iron. Iron is present in spinach, liver, papaya, apple, etc. Then another important mineral needed for our body is calcium. Calcium is present in egg and milk. Let's recollect. Write the importance of minerals in our body. Briefly describe the different minerals. Exposure to sunlight is good for our body. Give reason. Usually one food item contains more than one nutrient. But the amount of one nutrient may be in much larger quantity than others. For example, we can say rice contains a lot of carbohydrate. So we can say that rice is a carbohydrate rich source of food. Like that, another example, we can take meat. Meat contains fat, proteins, some vitamins and some minerals. But the amount of fat will be more than other nutrients. So we can say that meat is a fat rich source of food. Now we can move on to the dietary fibers. You know dietary fibers and water are not nutrients but they are very important for the proper functioning of our body. So now we can move on to roughage. So what are roughage or dietary fibers? So we get this dietary fibers from plant products. Dietary fibers are also known as roughage. Roughage is mainly provided by plant products in our foods, whole grains and pulses. Potatoes, fresh fruits and vegetables are main source of roughage. So these are the main sources of roughage. What is the role of roughage in our body? Roughage, even though it is not a nutrient, it adds bulk to our food and helps in removing the undigested food from our body. So, including the foods which are rich in roughage is very important for a healthy digestive system. Now we can move on to water. What is the role of water in our body? Water helps our body to absorb nutrients from food. It also helps in throwing out some waste from body as urine and sweat. So, in order to absorb nutrients from our food, our body needs water. And also, it helps in removing the waste in the form of urine and sweat. The major part of urine is water. Is it? Then, what are the sources of water or from where we get this water? We get the water from the liquids that we drink, like plain water, juices milk, coffee, tea, etc. We also add water for cooking and also we get this water from fresh fruits and vegetables. So thus we can meet the water requirements of our body. It is very essential to drink at least 6 to 8 glasses of water 
we need day for the proper functioning of our body. Let's recollect what is the role of roughage? The second question we should drink a lot of water, give reason. Now I am coming to the end of the class, end of this session. Before winding up, we can summarize the main points. The major nutrients in our food are carbohydrates, proteins, fats, vitamins and minerals. In addition, food also contains dietary fibers and water. A second point, carbohydrates and fats mainly provide energy to our body. Then proteins and minerals are needed for the growth and the maintenance of our body. Next point, vitamins help in protecting our body against diseases. Then roughage and water plays an important role in our body. Watch the video two or three times and write all the questions and answers. So you will get all the answers from the video. And if any doubt, we can clarify in the discussion session. In the next part, you will study the different tests for these nutrients and also what is balanced diet. So we can see in the next part. Thank you. Have a nice day.